Spring is a time for plants to green up, welcoming warmer weather with growth of leaves. But around the area, some conifers aren't looking too good right now. Their needles or branches are brown. In some cases, entire evergreens are damaged, while other plants have brown needles just in the top of the tree or stripes of green and tan sections of needles along branches. Though insects and diseases could be the culprits, most often the cause is Mother Nature. Fall and winter are typically dry in Colorado, but the past couple of years have been especially dry. When diagnosing your plant, understanding how that affects evergreens is a key to separating winter burn from disease. Although trees and shrubs go dormant in the fall, the root systems of these plants are still active as long as soil temperatures hover around 40 degrees. To function properly, roots need water, and their source for that is either Mother Nature or irrigation that we provide. No water during fall or winter stresses or even kills roots through dehydration. Evergreen needles continue to transpire, that is, they lose moisture to the surrounding environment on warm sunny days even in the winter. This is normal needle function designed to keep the needles from overheating, kind of like our perspiration. The problem this creates during dry or windy fall and winter days is that there are rapid temperature changes and evergreens may not be able to replace that lost moisture, especially if the ground is frozen or they may not be able to replace it fast enough to keep up with the loss. In some cases, this desiccation damage is only to the south or west side of the plant where the sun is striking it. Symptoms are needle scorching with tips browning back, leaving green fascicles near the branch. If the browning is even all the way around the needles, the cause is usually lack of moisture. Twig dieback can also occur. The browned needles won't green up, but new needles will mask the damaged ones. If you're still concerned about the evergreen's health, gently press a bud found on the tips of the twigs and branches between your thumb and first couple of fingers. If the bud feels soft, it is alive and will produce new growth this year. If the bud is dry and brittle, it is dead. Check the buds in several places around the plant because it may only be a few buds that did not survive the winter. This season, make sure these plants receive water once or twice a month in the absence of rainfall or snowmelt. Next fall, begin a regimen of monthly watering to help roots survive dry weather.